Hello and welcome to uh, Python 3.7. My name is Tom with the Mass Code Online. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and install the Python 3.7 software for a Mac. If you are a Windows user, jump over to the uh, next tutorial where we'll show you how to get set up on a Windows machine. And if you know how to do all this, uh, go ahead and jump into the tutorials for variables. All right, so let's get started. Um, first off, we need to go over to the python.org website, and this is the official website of the Python programming language. Now, what we're going to be downloading is something called an interpreter. And there's a couple other things in there, like a integrated development uh, environment, which we will not use. Um, but we need the interpreter. And what the interpreter does is it takes Python language, converts it into C language, which our computers understand and are able to compute. And then when they're done computing that stuff, it's sent back through the interpreter back to us. All right. Or our program or whatever. Um, so... The interpreter is basically interpreting things from the Python language to the C language, all right? So that's why we need it. So let's go ahead and download. Go ahead and hover over downloads on the python.org website. Uh, if you've been around Python before, you'll notice that Python, when you would download it, Python uh, 2.7 was here. It's no longer available. So uh, Python 3.7 is our only choice now. So let's go ahead and click on that. And it's going to go ahead and download down here. And once it's down downloading, I'm going to go ahead and open it up and get rid of that window. Uh, I'll just slide this up so I can click on it. And let's go ahead and get it installed. First window we see is the inst uh, Welcome to Python installer window. Uh, let's go ahead and click continue because we want to get through this as fast as possible. Uh, the readme, this basically just breaks down um, the installer, what installer you're going to have for the Mac. Eh, blah blah blah. It doesn't matter because it's going to do it for you anyway. Well, let's go ahead and click continue. The licensing, if you want to read this, go for it if you're, you know, an attorney or something. Um, also, there's the history of the software. Now, if you're curious about the history, it gives you a breakdown. Uh, go ahead and read that. Um, let's go ahead and click continue. Yes, we agree to the software licensing. This is standard software licensing. Um, designation. Uh, destination I should say destination select uh, leave it where it wants to go uh, if you put it somewhere else you might lose it and not know where it went so let's go ahead and click continue installation type we're gonna go ahead and install and we're not going to change the location so we're gonna click install it's gonna ask us for our password again put our password in and we're gonna install the software all right, so we get the uh, congratulations, Python 3.7 is complete uh, completed installing, I should say. Uh, but we want to go ahead and check it. So let's go ahead and close this and open your terminal. Uh, if you don't know where your terminal is, go ahead and open your finder and go to applications, all the way down to utilities, open up utilities, and then if you go all the way down, there's terminal. Uh, you could also do uh, command spacebar and ask Siri where terminal is or show you terminal or whatever you want to do, but terminal is in your utilities directory. So let's go ahead and find Python uh, via our terminal because we will be working a lot in the terminal. So I'm going to type in Python and I'm going to get Python 2.7.10, you see right here. Now I got two versions of Python installed on my computer. So let's go ahead and try this again. Let's do Python 3. And I'm going to get Python 3.6.2. In the world. Oh, that shouldn't have happened. So there's a lesson for you guys. I got Python 3.6.2, I believe it was. Uh, if you do not restart your terminal uh, when you install it, you're going to go ahead and get your old version. But if you restart your terminal by closing it and reopening it and then type in Python 3, you will get Python 3.7.0. So now we're set up. We're ready to learn Python. I'll see you guys over where we start talking about variables.